All right, let's just get one thing out of the way. I'm an ugly dude, so if you want to change tabs over to another tab and and look at something that's much more interesting than my face, then so be it. I just got some things to say. Um, my daughter school starts school. My daughter starts school tomorrow. It's gonna be a very short day, um, and I'm filming this on my HTC One M8 Google Play edition. Um, I cleaned the front lens on it. It was a little bit dirty, but uh, my daughter starts school. So for eight hours a day, five days a week, I'll have nothing but quiet time. The whole month of July, uh, we were babysitting some kids. So we had a few kids in our house. It was crazy loud and hectic, and I had a very hard time finding a quiet place to record. Now, now it's just my daughter. And she's still pretty loud, and I got to go downstairs, turn TV down, turn something down, ask her, hey, I'm recording, can you be quiet? So... Uh, she starts school tomorrow. It's gonna be a short day, and then like she starts school for good. I think next week or something like that. I don't know. I have to look at the calendar, but um, I'm saying that because well, if you've been following my channel for a little while now, you'll know that during the summer things slow down. During the summer, uh, my daughter has mild CP. It's not terrible. She just has trouble going up and down stairs. She has trouble with some things in the bathroom. Uh, she's, you know, she, she in and out of the car, um, you know, there's just some things that she has a harder time doing that takes her longer or she can't do it at all. And I have to help her with that. And I'm her dad, I'm her parent. So that's my job to be there for her and help her. Um, so when she's at school for eight hours a day, five days a week, I've got nothing but time. I can sit at my computer. I can have audacity up. I can be recording audio, shooting B-roll, uh, learning how to do that more. I really, really like the style of like uh, Marquez. Everybody knows Marquez. But uh, also like Mobile Carlos. Uh, Carlos, I cannot remember his last name for the life of me. Uh, and Jeremy, uh, JG and Root. I really, really like, you know, uh, recording like several different clips, getting audio together and like saying what you want to say in a short time. Um, I really like reviews like that and I've been on YouTube and I've been making videos long enough that I'm starting to feel like, you know, that's like that, you know, like if someone's like, dude, I've watched your videos in a while. It's like, you're not missing out on anything. You're not missing out on anything at all. It's the same thing over and over and over again. You're not missing out on anything. You know, like when you point your camera at something and you don't get, you know, you don't get different angles. You sit, you, the camera stays in that one spot. And you record for, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes at a time. And then you edit it, you upload it, and that's that's how it is. And then you see these people like uh, Mac Mixing, um, Marquez, uh, Mobile Carlos. You see all these people on YouTube that do the really nice painting shots. Um, <laughs> they have more room than I do. And if I remember, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and, then, and also, you need, like, sliders, and you need all kinds of gear. And I'm the kind of person that goes, okay... Should I get this slider that costs a thousand dollars that'll let me get these nice smoothing gliding shots into a like start here and go into on a table and it's a perfectly smooth shot, or should I take that thousand dollars and pay some bills for a house or an apartment, you know, the cost of living, or should I use that thousand dollars to buy a new? No, I'm gonna get to this in a minute. Buy like a new tablet or a new or a couple new phones or something, you know. Like, I'm not in that in that situation. Like, you see people on YouTube all the time that are, like, you know, 17 years old, 18 years old. They live with their parents. Um, they they don't have any bills to pay, and, and they get to focus on just getting new devices all the time. Uh, and it's been hard for me. My wife got laid off a few months back from her job, and she, well, <laughs> she, she did what I used to do. Uh, and then they laid people off in that department, and... Uh, uh, so, you know, it was, it was, it was pretty good, um, for, for the cost of living in Missouri and how much, uh, I was making and then she, um, I stayed home with my daughter and made YouTube videos and she did my old job and then she got laid off. So ever since then, it's been a lot, lot, lot harder, uh, to get devices and stuff. So everybody asks me all the time, where, where's the LG G3 videos? And... Um, I gotta sit down just a little bit. Hold on, my my knee, my feet are starting to hurt. So, uh, 
this room's empty at the moment. This is our, this is the house. But, um, so people ask me all the time, you, when are you going to get the LG G3? And to be honest with you, I'm going to try to get it soon. Um, my wife has, we have AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile. I'm going to drop Sprint eventually, completely. And, um, get, have T-Mobile and AT&T. I'm going to add a line on AT&T and get the LG G3. Because, um, when I don't have signal on my Sprint Nexus 5 and my HTC One MA on T-Mobile, my wife has perfect LTE on AT&T. Only problem is AT&T is expensive. She has two gigs per month right now, and it's our most expensive plan. I pay T-Mobile $82 a month on average for unlimited everything. That's why I love T-Mobile so much, and the signal's great where I live. Um, Sprint, I pay over $100 a month, and I'm supposed to be on some like special discount plan because of uh, an empl- a, a friend of mine that's an employee at Sprint. Uh, and then AT&T is even more than freaking Sprint. And Sprint and T-Mobile are on unlimited plans, and AT&T is on a two gig per month plan because my wife uses Wi-Fi at home, and she just watches what she does on her 4G LTE. Uh, and it's been fine, but AT&T is so expensive. But I want to get the LG G3. Um, but, um, so, <laughs> I know how much I have, and I set it, like, I prioritize the stuff, and then I'm like, okay, there's $400 that I can spend on devices on this month. And so I was like, okay, you've got Tim, you've got uh, Zenimax, you've got well, Max, you've got Flossy Carter. You've got all these people covering the LG G3, all these people. Um, and the LG G3 is a good device from what I've seen. I see a lot of people use it. Uh, Shane from Droid Modder X. He does LG G3 videos. Everybody's doing LG G3 videos. And it had been out for a minute. So this came out, and I got the Shield tablet instead because uh, the Shield Portable, which I still have downstairs, um, that device, if you search NVIDIA Shield root, how many people are you going to see rooting the the Shield? Not very many people. So you've got plenty of good people already covering the LG G3. Plenty of good people. But... How many people are covering the NVIDIA Shield and the NVIDIA Shield tablet? You'll see unboxings from like Techno Buffalo and really big tech sources out there. But I mean, how many people are going to actually show videos on rooting it? And um, I'm going to do a video on folder mount for this thing because the, the storage is filled. I mean, filled. And I've got apps on here that cannot be moved to external storage um, through the default move to SD card feature that's within the tablet. And then some apps like Need for Speed Most Wanted, it'll move like some things over, but the OBB files, the really big files that are like taking up like a gig of storage or more are still on your internal storage. And I'm going to um, put them all on the SD card and show you how you can have more than half of your 16 gigs. I'm talking like eight gigs available, but yet you have every, you have GTA Vice City, GTA 3, and GTA San Andreas. You've got Most Wanted, you've got... Um, Nova 3, you've got all these games on there because they're all in your external storage, not touching your internal at all. So I'm just waiting on an SD card to come that's supposed to be shipping today from what I've been told and aware of. So I'm excited about that. But back to the whole, I have ADHD, so I get off track really easily, and a lot of you know that. But um, So in the summer, videos slow down, and then my, you know, my daughter goes to school, and things pick back up. So... Uh, you know that's that's why videos slow down during the summer and then they pick back up so if you've been if you're new subscribe you're probably like man you post like every four five six days like sometimes longer than that and also if i post something it's like oh three videos at one time on some freaking battery charger things that works for some people but it's not working for me i i hear everybody's feedback and i'm not receiving anymore i get emails all the freaking time hey we're a brand new company. We'd love to hear you uh, review our product. And I'm like, okay, I've done a million and one battery pack videos. I've done a million battery charging videos. Um, somebody contacted me yesterday asking me, hey, will you review our new car charger? Uh, it's the fastest charging one. It's got smart IQ technology. I'm like, okay, look, I'm done with those videos. My channel started off with like, I got popular around the uh, Samsung Transform days when I was doing like root methods, ROM videos, and etc. Uh, and so that's where things were. And then, you know, I, as I started 
getting more and more subscribers and a bigger audience, I started branching out to more phones. I got the Evo 3D, I got the Evo 4 GLTE, the Evo Shift, the little keyboard. A lot of you probably remember that phone if you've been on Sprint for a while. Um, so I started getting more and more devices, doing more and more different phones and stuff. So in the summer, things slow down and then they pick back up. I uh, promise you, things are going to pick back up. We're going to be looking at unlocking the bootloader on this thing. I did root it using Tile Root, but um, if a new update comes out from NVIDIA that fixes, um, Tile Root's basically hitting an exploit within Android KitKat. And let me get back up here. Sorry, I'm very, very sorry. I'm just recording this from my phone and I'm going to upload it from my phone. But it fixes an exploit within KitKat. And if NVIDIA updates this and that update no, no longer works, and I've got all these apps that are being moved to my external storage thanks to a root app, and that root app no longer works, then I'm kind of SOL, and I've got to unlock my bootloader. And when you unlock your bootloader, you re reset your device. So I'm going to be unlocking the bootloader so I can do it the right way. Unlocking the, vo the bootloader does permanently void your warranty, but I have my warranty through Square Trade. I purchased three years of Square Trade on this thing. Just like I got Square Trade on my watch, I actually purchased enough Square Trade plans that I had like 1,400 points saved up, and I got free warranty on my LG G watch for three years um, because the watch was like two something, and um, the, the 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 more spins of the plan, the more points it uses. But I purchased Square Trade so many times that I didn't even pay for the warranty on this watch. I got that for free. That was pretty cool. But I did pay for the warranty on this thing. So we're gonna unlock the bootloader. That way, whenever NVIDIA pushes out an update to it that breaks Tile Root, Tile Root no longer roots it, I can go ahead and just quickly flash the little um, custom boot image that, that does the Super SU stuff, and then I'll always have root. No matter what update comes out, I'll always have root, and I won't have to worry about it. So uh, I've got, I've still got LG G Watch videos to do, like rooting and stuff. I've still got the review of this thing to do. Um, I've still, I'm still going to review this. I'm waiting on my controller to come. That's what I was getting to earlier, but I get off track real easily. And, um, my reviews, I'm going to try to work on them. I am, I, I am going to try to, to work my reviews, um, taking down notes, recording audio separately. Um, a lot of people like the style I, I do with like s saying everything I have to say at one time and then just uploading that uh, editing, of course, out mistakes and stuff. Um, that seems wobbly. I don't know when it just moves a little bit. This house is old, like super old. This was an attic, but we use it as a bedroom, but it gets so hot up here that we stopped using it. It's completely empty at the moment, but, um, uh, I cannot wait to move to an apartment where I'm not renting a house that was made in like 1928 and this was converted to a bedroom and there's like no, there's no, um, insulation at all. And we stopped using this because it gets so hot up here during the day. Like you start sweating and spiders love coming up here. And no matter what you do to get them to go away, they don't, they, they like to come up here. And so that's why we moved our bedroom downstairs and started using that. So I can't wait to move, um, into a, I'm moving to a whole new state actually that I haven't been to in years. So I'm excited about that, but <laughs> back to the shield. So I'm waiting on my controller to come. Uh, and so that way I can do more videos on the shield. I'm going to do like Modern Combat 5, benchmarks, moving apps to the SD card because 16 gigs, my storage is filled. And I've been waiting until my SD card comes to start doing the video on it because I don't want to move all my apps over to a smaller SD card. And then when I try to move them over to the bigger SD card, there's issues because of like um, the... I don't know what, I don't know. When you try to move over the folders, I've had issues with it. And it's like, you need to re-download the game content and then move it back over to the SD card. So I'm just waiting on my SD card to come. It's a big SD card. I'm excited about it. But, so I have a lot of videos coming. I want to work on my reviews. I want to make my reviews better. Like, I, I, I'm not, I don't know. I just haven't been happy with videos in a long time. I feel like, you know, if I post a video... It's like why why it's the same as the last one. It's I don't I don't know. I'm just starting to I want to do something different, and I really want my I really want reviews that are polished. And um, oh yeah, the whole moving thing. I said my my earlier. I said my my how this house is small. 
Uh, and I've thought about recording in this room right here because it's a lot bigger than the little tiny. If I showed you, you would freaking cry. Like, I can't. My daughter's bed is not as tiny as it used to be, but it's not big either. And it wouldn't fit in there. No, a bed won't fit in there. Uh, nothing will fit in there. The only thing that fits in there is my little table and my, my camera. It was, it's not officially a bedroom, but you could use it as a bedroom for like a little baby, a baby's crib or something. And my feet are starting to get too when you're pressing on your feet but um so I'm gonna end this video soon it's already 15 minutes long and I, I get off track super easily but I want I want to make video reviews like um, smoking Android he's a really good example his one plus one review I really really enjoy watching videos like that his like where you get all kinds of different angles and shots and stuff like that uh, my desk right now that I, that I use is very very small and our living room is not big big enough to where if I got a bigger desk, it wouldn't fit in there. Uh, it would just would not fit if you saw how my house is set up right now. So uh, I am moving later this year and uh, out of state. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited about that. Very nervous and excited. And I'll have a, hopefully wherever I move to, it'll be nicer. Like if I, th this is not a room I want to like record all my videos in. It's, it's crappy. It's just, it's crappy. <laughs> But, uh, so I'm excited. I'm nervous and excited. I want to move. I want to feel comfortable recording in my room or wherever my, my, the room is. I want to get three bedrooms so I can use the third bedroom as recording room. That way, like, I don't have to worry about, like, uh, something my daughter, a mess my daughter made or, or something, you know, that's in the video. So I, I'm excited and nervous. There are definitely, things are definitely going to be upgrading and changing and moving on and more videos are going to come very soon i promise you i i feel bad when i go like a while without posting a video or i post like three videos on freaking chargers and stuff like that so nervous and excited 17 minutes long i'm probably going to delete this video because it says a lot of things and i i don't know i'm i, I i'm a i'm a wreck i'm a wreck so this is what would Josh do and I'm out.